fortune cookie of the old fortune cookie. Uh, it says, uh, Vous apportez une dimension esthétique à tout ce que vous faites. Okay, so I'm going to read how it translates in English now, but esthétique means kind of superficial, but you add an aesthetic quality to everything you do. I'm not even sure how to interpret this. But what I was hoping uh, was uh, that it would have said, uh, if you're not careful, you're going to make a big mess in your motorhome, which I did. There was some bumps that went, my leftovers spilled on a lot of stuff. Luckily not inside my bicycle helmet. Anyways, uh, this, is, this is a vlog to kind of say that I think that organizations that request of me to do a criminal record check and the ones that perform criminal record checks should be investigated. Oh, there was a risk. I was nervous. There was a risk it was going to happen to me a third time when I paid some of the last coins I have to take a shower today on the, on the third Late in the day before the pool closes and it'll be closed for a few days and um or 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 is it or is it about to start its closure until september i can't remember anyways um if it would have happened a third time it would have been quite upsetting is that i, I dread a little girls coming into the shower when i pay money to kind of make sure i'm clean and uh, that i don't have to worry about that for another day or two and so I think that maybe the people that allow city staff to pass their criminal record checks uh, when not providing a family room, and even parents who kind of don't train their kids to know what to do, you know, around the showers with the opposite sex uh, at certain ages where, you know, it's like, what's the use having criminal record checks when, you know, these organizations like the RCMP and city staff here uh, promote uh, what could be uh, the development of uh, predators in their communities. Because, like, I don't feel comfortable continuing my shower. So I have to end what I'm doing. And uh, then I talk to the parents about it. They say, oh, yeah, we know. Yeah, no, we're not. Then why do you come? And why do you not train your kids to act a certain way? And why does the mom not come? Because she's working? Well, then don't come to the pool. And stand up to the city staff more for for not putting money. There's industry here that it should be this. Is this is not the rainiest city in Canada? This is the biggest junkyard in Canada. If you look at everything broken down, either on people's property or off people's property in the streets, I've never seen so many cars in the streets with with flat tires being abandoned. I don't know if I have the right to go get a part from there, like a junkyard, and then pay the city. For the park i like it's it's just the the least maintained facilities here i've ever seen for high price and uh and get, you know the only time i could come to, to maybe have a quieter time there's no lifeguard there's older people really early in the morning i'd love that but you need a membership for that it's more expensive it's more expensive not to have a lifeguard and to also uh have mostly old people in the shower area you know and more quiet because parents and lifeguards don't always have the skills to kind of help their kids not to ruin the experience for everybody else i'm talking about the pool area as well with, with really loud voices now when i was a summer day camp supervisor my kids didn't behave like this and it's because i you set boundaries early on and consequences and it ends and everybody has a good time even the kids that would have been a problem they just realize they're making more friends they're having less stress when you maintain these boundaries and consequences that are fair, that are not abusive. And, and I'd love for people to witness how I do this as a life skills coach, but nobody cares. So it's very upsetting, the idea of criminal record checks from city staff that should be investigated, because I don't know where the money's going for, for, for not fixing up stuff, for, for soap being, it's like three times soap was co totally empty in places I wanted soap. And uh, just, you know, broken down pipes and just always the water advisory. You don't even know if it's safe to brush your teeth there. And, you know, like, why it's, is it getting more expensive to do less? You know, where's the money going? That should be investigated. And it should be investigated, this entire idea of criminal record checks, for people that request it of others when they should not be passing it themselves. And then RCMP, who kind of know this, and who kind of, like, what are you promoting in your cultures?